Welcome to Seashore and Vlog in Vancouver and the sky's crying because it's our last day and we're going home. What's going on with your face? Mm. Bye and see ya. But first we're heading to Stanley Park and we're going to Stanley Park Brewing. Because Carolyn yeah. wants a glass, a glass and a beer. And no, not necessarily a beer, I just want a big apples. I want the glass, see if I can get the glass I wanted last time that they didn't have. Mm. So we're going to go over there, but it is really raining, so this is going to be fun. Yeah. We've made it to Stanley Park Brewing, got a bit wet. Just a little wet. They brew it here. They do brew it here. Yeah. Caroline wants one of their little tasting glasses, so we'll see if they've got one, but I don't think they do. We're going to get a little snack and a little, a little drink, drinky food. I might get the butter chicken. This is becoming a um, thing we thing. do, a last day thing. Yeah. And the day before the last day thing is Olive Garden. Yeah, it's true, yeah. That's, what last That's a pattern. Yeah. <laughs> That's a pattern, yeah. yeah. Pattern occurring. Hi. Hi. Park session lager. 16 ounce, I think it is. Yeah. So nice and refreshing. It's refreshing. Cheers. 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 Yay. <laughs> Are you just drinking water or is that vodka? Juice. Just water. Juice. 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 How's your alcohol free peach ale? Probably the same as yours. Yeah. It tastes like peach. Peachy. And like, and like bubbles. I like these glasses, but we've got no need for them at home, but I like them. I did say I wanted to come back and get some though. It's a very dry peach. It really smells peachy. Show the front of the glass though. It smells more peachy than it tastes. This is the Sunsetter Peach Wheat Ale. 20 ounce, $7.75 uh, $7 plus tax. Converted mm. to UK, about a fiver. Enjoy. Is yours a 19 ounce or what about 20 ounce? 20 ounce. I'm waiting for a butter chicken curry and Caroline's uh, going all out. She's getting um, calamari. I'm not getting calamari. I'm getting buffalo chicken again. Buffalo cauliflower again, sorry. And? And I'm getting an impossible burger minus the um, tomato and Tori's having the fries. You're vlogging? Are you vlogging? Or trying to anyway? Are you learning from your daddy and your mummy? Mummy! Mummy! Say hi mummy! Hi mummy! Hi daddy! I hmm? Hi daddy! I hi Shawnee! I like this one! Oh Shawnee! You can't say Caroline but you'll all try! Hi Caroline! Daddy! She's trying, it's hard! Are you having a nice time? Are you happy? Having fun. Fun? Yeah. Are you happy? Yes, food. Look, food. Oh yeah, sure. Food. Food. Eat. Thank you. Eat. 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 Your impossible burger yep. has arrived. Uh, and I've got a butter chicken. And I've turned the music up. Show us your pretzel, and Just a baby. I ate half a bun. I ate the burger. And I ate two pieces of that. And was it good? Very, but I'm just full. Was that spicy? Nice and spicy. My butter chicken was delicious and had a good bit of heat in it actually for a butter chicken, which isn't meant to have it. <clears throat> that was really, really good. I'd have that again. And one of these again. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Cheers. So I have got a Cheesecake Factory double chocolate cheesecake but kiddies. Look at that. That's a chocolate brownie. Get that nom nommed. <laughs> and for my dessert I got a glass. Little baby glass. Little baby glass. So it's my little baby petite frame. How was your brownie? It was really good. Yeah, so good. And my Cheesecake Factory Godiva double chocolate cheesecake was delicious as well. How was your pretzel in the end? In the beginning it was great, in the end we'll find out. Time to go and sort our cases out. Are we all packed? You ready to go? Yes, uh, uh, yes. 
You're chilling there, Tori. Just, just playing with Mickey. <laughs> playing with Mickey. Playing with Mickey. Thank you for your hospitality. Thank you for coming. Yeah. We for started with two work. checked bags. <laughs> then we added a third in Hawaii. <laughs> and we've added a fourth in Vancouver. They should check out the whole videos. Tori doesn't want you to go. Oh, that's a lovely cuddle. <laughs> You're dancing. She's dancing. She's tired too. Tired. Come on. Cuddles. We'll see you later, Libby. Baby, baby we'll see you later. We've made it to departures. We need to find our check-in desk to get checked in. Caroline's got this bag and Anne is very kindly helping us. Thank you. Happy to do it. Bye Case. <laughs> Bye Case. So We're through security. Everything was pretty quick going through until we got to security. Um, Sean's laptop for some reason got checked. My check was straightforward, actually quicker than all the other checks I've had all holiday. Um, but yeah, check Sean's bags. I don't know why. why. Anyway, all done, so we're going to check done. out Duty yeah. Free. More seems open than last time we were in Vancouver, so yeah, let's check Duty Free and everywhere else out. Yeah. It is considerably cheaper than those shops. This is, this is a really, really nice gin and bought it for me. Um, and I, I didn't drink a lot, I only, I and left it a bit Do you want to know what? It's 40 Canadian dollars here and it was 78 in the liquor store. It's called Empress Gin and it's made in BC. It's made here. Yeah. No, don't give it to me. Don't give it to me. Why? Don't drop it. I'm labelled to drop it. <laughs> Wet cream maple cream is even cheaper. Well, we didn't we didn't buy the maple cream. I bought no, the maple bought whiskey. The whiskey instead. And we've reached well, ever so slightly our alcohol limit now. We have yeah. yeah. And as this is. Everything's open compared to last time. Nothing was open, really. Nothing. Yeah. Wayne Gretzky. What else have you got here? Canadian cream liqueur, maple cream, and whiskies. If only we could buy some more. Yeah. We'll <laughs> have to come back. You will. Cheers, Pat. Happy for an awesome holiday. It's been an absolutely tremendous holiday from start to finish. Um, probably one of the best experiences we've had. Yeah. Uh, and it's the first Christmas we've ever spent together alone, too. And we've picked up two Coronas. Picked up two Coronas everywhere. Is Six pound and change per Corona. All right, okay, so. This, from so this, here. So from last time, if you haven't seen the previous time we were in Vancouver Airport, this time a lot more is open. There's still some things closed, but a lot more is open. There's a lot more designer um, shops. Um, the restaurant was too busy, and so we've come down to the gate, and the cafe's here. And I wanted to try Wayne Gretzky's wine, <clears throat> and even though I can see it, they said they didn't have any Wayne Gretzky Pinot Grigio white wine, even though I can see it, but they said they didn't have any. So I ended up with a Corona. Fine. We're gonna get on. We're gonna start pre-boarding maybe in about half an hour, 40 minutes. So we might get another Corona in, and then oh. we'll have a little look around this news agents just in case there's any crisps or nibbles we want for the plane. And then we'll get on the aircraft. It's a triple seven. We'll show you what that is. This time we're not traveling business because um, Avios wasn't available. We're now traveling World Traveler Plus, which is just premium economy. So yeah, no sleeping on a bed this time. And we'll have to see what the food's going to be like as well. It'll be completely different. It'll be a totally different experience. Boarding time. We're sat in premium economy for this and they've changed our seats but they, didn't tell yeah, us. Yeah, we were meant to be at the side on our own because it's in the in one in those two together because it's a bit uncomfortable because, the, because of my pain and issues and I move around I have to move and I get uncomfortable and and I need to go to the toilet and things it's not good for other people but I feel like the seat's broken the seat is broken you got a broken seat yeah. lovely. And the hope the metal bit underneath it keeps moving. Yeah. It's like. 
so they've changed receipts um, because that one's broken and when I went business. You seem happier about that. I, feel, I just feel very embarrassed and my back was starting to hurt. That was a very weird feeling, very taking weird. off backwards. I felt like I was going forward. <laughs> yeah. We can't complain about these new seats, they're perfect. Definitely. Yeah, we're getting to experience the old business class now with that upgrade that the cabin manager gave us. I didn't even complain that much, really. I just wasn't happy with the way that the guy spoke to you and then me. And his attitude, yeah. And his attitude. Um, so I asked the cabin manager. She never came, but there was another crew member who did. Called Lisa. Called Lisa. Um, and she was like, she was just breathing out. So just said, the seat's broken. Don't like the way he's just spoken to us. Can we do anything about this seat? And then five minutes later, she moved us here. We did. We did the next. So we're getting business class, we're going to get a bed. We might sleep a bit better. We might do. Yeah. We're going to cocoon. We're cocooned together now. Yeah. We'll make our beds. Cocooned. What should we have? What do you want to eat? I'm going to have the beef. Uh, You're going to have the cod? Or the curry. Yep. Yeah, either or. We've got the TV screen out, so it comes out sideways. Oh, and it tilts as well. It tilts. Oh, just figure out it tilts for when you're lying down. Okay. You got a footrest all the way over there. Look at that. I'm going to be able to reach that one. No? No. You've ordered your food? I've ordered my food. I have a butternut squash soup. I like a paneer. Yep. And I've ordered, I've ordered a caprese salad and uh, the beef. I'll show you that when it comes. We're really, really grateful for this upgrade so that Caroline's got a proper seat, but we did not complain about Caroline's broken seat to get an upgrade. We just wanted a seat that was um, but to compare this business class to the first one, there isn't really a comparison. The first one on the way out to Vegas was fantastic. Loads of storage here. There isn't really any storage. No, no storage. Just that one there. Yeah. Lots of charging ports though. Lots of yeah. charging ports. Also, who's... Uh, my cabin crew server. The cabin crew server short got is the guy that was really rude. Fun times. Blue Not keen on the soup. Blue is fine. You offer two meals there. Yeah, you're gonna give me my own meal as well. <laughs> they offer, they, they brought your premium economy meal through. But he's actually, well. he, but he's actually saying, if I don't like this, it's gonna be kept warm for us. Yeah. Well, you enjoy your soup. I'll get mine in about half an hour. I don't like the soup. Do you want my soup? So, I was wrong when I said half an hour. It was actually only 25 minutes. <laughs> I'm not joking. Um, so, there's my caprese salad and my cranberry juice. You can have my bread. Thank you. He doesn't like olives. He doesn't like olives. And here's the beef. It smells good. Got short. It's the beef. the beef, and the gravy is really, really nice. Beef it seems smells, like it smells mushroomy. The beef seems like it's going to be tough, but let's see. And it's bedtime. Wakey wakey. I had some stress.
Rachel, jeans, you know. You got your breakfast and mushroom. Much about that. Croissant. Cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. We're almost an hour away from Heathrow. Yeah, we are almost an hour away. And we've landed. And we need and to wake up. I was starting to go to sleep then. It's 20 past 2 in the afternoon, so we're a bit late. Should have been 25 minutes or so. Um, but yeah, we're very tired. Take us a bit of time to get our stuff because it's scattered around the plane. Yeah, landed back. Get covered into systems yeah. to get off. And landed and backwards is weird. Had to get them in. Go for Wagamama, maybe. Ramen? Uh, yeah. Ramen's It'll be no good. damn good. Ramen's always good. How was the flight? Um, How was quite the bed? Quite turbulent, actually. It was quite a turbulent flight. Um, the bed was not as comfy as the other business class flight, but it was comfy enough. I felt like I was more enclosed. Yeah. This um, plane's a lot noisier. It's it's all very noisy. Very noisy. It was like the very sun was bright. bright. Very bright. From the toilet. Yeah, the sun from the toilet, like. Yeah. It was just noisy. It was a crying baby. Nothing we could do about that. Just a noisy play, in Rest general. Up. Very upset. Yeah, very upset for you guys. But yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, hello again for the pointy end. Senior first stops at Falkin Salad. Well, welcome to a delightfully wet and windy afternoon here at London Seathrow. So, other than that little uh, hiccup at the beginning. Which and then I had still have the same guy serving me, not you. Your, no. your cabin crew member was really, really good. My cabin crew member was fat and he remembered what I said to him. Um, yeah, I was, the, mine was really, really good. Mine was slow. And, 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 the, was and the girl from um, the cabin crew member from World Traveller Plus, she even brought my meal down from there as well, bless her. She was good, Lisa. Yeah. Um, yeah, he had the guy that was a bit rude, and, but he tried to be helpful, but he made a lot of mistakes. He ended up having to get help. He got help, help. That's all. Indeed, indeed. All right, we'll uh, catch up with you in the terminal. Newcastle There's the Caroline's favourite crew member. Yeah. There you great. go. He's in it. <laughs> so, for a change, assistance at Heathrow has been very good. We just had to wait a bit of time we had for to it. Wait a bit of time. But it then really it was good, really good. Yeah. Um, the assistance came well. First off. When I was getting off the plane, the staff were really funny and we had a bit of a laugh. But somebody actually stole my personal wheelchair and started going away with it. So they had to run after them to get the, uh, to come back with my wheelchair. And then we got in the wheelchair. Um, we were taken by one person to a certain part and then we had to wait about 10, 15 minutes for another person who came. He then escorted us all the way through um, inspection, through to security. And we then did a trial. The trial is to literally put all of your stuff through without taking anything out, liquids, whatever. You can have all the liquids you want and then check it all through. And more than 100 mil. And more than 100 mil, yep. And that's perfectly fine. And the, the new system checks it all, make sure it's the correct liquids that are in, the correct foods or whatever you've got in your bag. You can check it all and then you go through. Simple, so it was really good. If that comes into a force, which I think it should because it was pretty efficient, it'll be good. It'll be back to going to when you could take liquids but in a safer way. Yeah, and you go through a full body scanner as you well. Do. Uh, yeah, you quick. Well, you went through a full body scanner. I, yeah. did, I did my pat down, and actually, I didn't get I didn't get tested as much as I do, I do in other countries. Yeah, but it's food time now. It is food time. Yeah, so we're in Wagamama. But, but I will say, in bed on the plane, it was boiling. I was actually stripping down. I had special socks for the flight. I had to take them off. I had to take my jumper off. It's like a sauna. So hot. And so is this. Yep, spicy. You've got spicy veggie gyoza ramen. Yep. And I've got chili chicken ramen. And you've got loki butter as well. I'm sticking with the Coke Zero. I'm staying healthy ish. That's not, this is my last day of being bad. No, February. Well, that ramen was no damn bull. It was awful. Yeah. Well, it wasn't awful, but Mine was. it lacks a lot of Mine it lacks was, flavor. Mine had no flavor, it was like dirty dish water. Yeah. The Nothing can compete with Dambo in Vancouver. We need to go back and have some. Mm. Uh, we're getting on the next flight now, so the next time we'll come back to you will be when we're at home. Hello, Seb. Hi. <laughs> Good calm, boy. Calm, calm, calm. Good boy. Calm. Have you missed us? Oh. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. 
Are you happy we're back? Licky licky. Oh, missed you. Did. Did you have fun with that? <laughs> <laughs> did you miss us, Dave? Yeah, I did. And we're back home. And oh, yeah. Sebastian was very pleased to see us. There he is. Aren't you? Yes, good boy. Good boy. Well, we've had an epic, an epic trip. <clears throat> it's been fantastic. Take me back to Hawaii, please. That's just a life-changing place. It is. It really, really is. Uh, the saddest moment, though, was Tori <sighs> breaking her heart as we left. Like, she was properly breaking her heart, so we just had to leave. Um, we love Kitty and Ant and spending time with them. So we've had three different holidays in one. We we realise we are very, very lucky to be able to do that. But here's to the next one. So tune in for the next holiday that we take, wherever that may be. Whenever that may be. Yeah. And we're signing off on this epic USA-Canada trip. Keep making memories, everyone. Catch you later.